North East Victoria is the largest growing region for chestnuts in Australia. About 70% of the crop is grown in about a 50 kilometre radius around Myrtleford. We're here today to look at the application of irrigation methods in the orchard and trying to maximise the opportunity that water might be able to provide, used strategically to make sure these orchards are healthy and productive. The gross value of the product is estimated between 15 and 20 million dollars to the local economy, including everything. This is what we call Buffalo Creek chestnuts. Uh, we grow six different varieties of chestnuts here and it's, on this particular block we've got 10 hectares. The climate is drying, that's what we're being told, the science is telling us that. So we have been getting some very dry years and in those dry years irrigation definitely helps for a better crop and, and better return for growers. We're getting drier spells of season and the rain is a lot less consistent. So for this reason we've gone to try to manage it, the water requirements of the trees and hence we've put in uh, drip irrigation also to keep the chestnuts a bit cooler. We use water as a evaporation tool so the plant can actually stay cooler for longer. One of the things we're doing is measuring how much water the drippers are putting on per tree or per hectare and comparing that to what we're losing through evapotranspiration so we can tie the two together and get them as close close together as we can to make sure that we're getting good production but also um, getting good water use efficiency. If the trees become stressed from moisture, it's a problem for the crop, there's no doubt about it, any, any crop. Chestnuts are deep rooted and they will survive dry periods better, but ultimately they'll still need, will need supplementary irrigation. We've put subsoil irrigation down, so drippers, so we've invested into a proper trenching machine and main lines and filters and uh, yeah, quite a bit. So we completely follow the soil moisture monitors and when they tell us there's enough water in the profile we stop irrigating and when they tell us it's low enough to start irrigating we start, it's as simple as that. Getting that right, not under irrigating but putting just enough on is yeah, getting it in that Goldilocks zone yeah, is getting more and more important. Water is a critical tool that we need to utilise as much as possible. When they're properly irrigated they generally be a larger, fresher chestnut once they're harvested and the Generally speaking, that should mean that they should hold up better in storage and have a longer shelf life.